In problem number seven of section 4.2, 4 we want to find the antiderivative of the function cosine of 2 theta minus 1. Now, uh, our first uh, thought might be, well, the uh, antiderivative of the cosine is just the sine. So this should be sine of 2 theta minus 1, right? Well, almost. If we uh, kind of work this backwards and now take the derivative, see that the derivative of this is going to be indeed cosine 2 theta minus 1, but then we're going to have to use a chain rule and multiply by the derivative of the inside, and we're going to get an extra 2 there. So we can compensate that for that by writing 1 half. So now when we take the derivative here, we get 1 half sine, or excuse me, 1 half cosine uh, 2 theta minus 1 multiplied by 2, 2 is cancel out, and we get our original argument in the antiderivative. And of course we need to add a constant 